Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Here we have the first ever Street Hunter BRZ wide body kit. This thing is gonna be so freaking dope, guys. We've been working on this. I really wanna show you guys what we've been up to. So stay tuned and let's get into today's video. Chach has arrived. King Chach is back, baby. <laughs> Just trying to get Oscar some gray hairs. You're trying to leave it with no hair. That's what you're trying to do. Dude, you have plenty of time. What do you mean? Stressing. <laughs> you're such a stress. Yeah, be We good. have so much time. What do you mean we have so much time? A month, dude. Less than a month. We have a month? Okay, I'm gonna give it to you in a month. Would you like that? Oh, well, we need it in like three and a half weeks, dude. Three and a half weeks? It's fine. I think you're stressing, and you no need. You guys can do, you guys are so fast, and you've already shown that you can do it in four weeks. So let's make it three. You've done it three years in a row. Three years, four year years. I think gonna say two, right? Two weeks? Maybe. Maybe? It depends how successful this go around is. <laughs> Today, uh, we are gonna start the cutting process. We, I don't remember how many pieces this wide body kit is, um, it's a lot, but this is the first time that we've ever done fender replacements. So um, today we are gonna focus on just cutting the rear and then starting the disassembly for the front. Uh, the front bumper and two front fenders got out of the mold yesterday. They're NLA, we should have them down here within the next 24 hours. So we have, there's no cutting to do on the front end. Everything from the hood to the fender to the front bumper is all replacement, which is dope. Um, so. We are really gonna prep for getting everything later in the week. So we're gonna start by cutting these rear fenders today. We have a cut line to follow from Dylan who already cut one of the other collars. And then it's just kind of prep. And the real interesting part of this video comes later when we actually mount up the front fender and uh, see how great it is out of the mold because I know that's what Oscar is scared about. But I have faith that we did a really good job. So today's main objective, disassemble the front and cut the rears. So pretty much we got the guys uh, getting the car up on uh, jack stands and getting ready to do the initial cut. Uh, we're gonna do one side, TJ's gonna do the other. And we're gonna have like a little bit of a, a grading contest. We're gonna see how straight TJ can, can cut. He's, I'm the best cut guy in the Yeah, world. no, he's, he's cut a lot of his cars, yeah. you I've know. I've been doing this for seven years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he, to be honest, man, I give TJ a lot of credit because he's gotten a lot better with everything that he does to his car. So from like when he initially cut the Supra until now, they ain't no different. Like, See, here's the difference. You have all the, the nice tools and I just go at it with a cutoff wheel. That's what we're gonna use too. You use a cutoff yeah. wheel? You don't use a little air? No. Really? No, we just get tape and you'll see. We're gonna do it. We're gonna give you the same tools that we're gonna use. It's, it's a contest. Yeah. Who does a better cut? Yeah. You guys better be on your A game. <laughs> I know, I know you guys are nervous now. Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, Kev, looks like uh, you're done. I think it's time to judge. We're gonna get a, a panel of professional body men to rate the cuts. I think it looks great. All right, you're gonna rate this cut from uh, one to ten. What is this cut right here? And be honest. Be I honest. mean, it's a cut, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't know how to rate a cut, bro. Oh, is it a I mean, it looks cut? good. It looks it, it's circular. It's not. It's not that bad. It's not like an uh, angle or stuff no. like that. So I say about a a nine. A nine? Yeah. Okay. All right, shorty. What do you think of this cut? I need you to rate it from one to ten. The uno al diez. I think that it's un diez a diez. Un diez. Mm -hmm. We gotta even out the score a little bit, so I, we're gonna ask you. Yeah. This cut, I need you to rate this cut from one to ten. Let's see. Going off, I have nothing to go off of, so just going off this, it's straight. 
I can run my finger along. I'm not going to get cut. I am biased. I am on a certain team. Yeah. I can give it a give it an eight. You're give it an eight. Give it an eight. Right. Give it an eight. We got the scores in eight, nine, and ten. That's a. I'm not going to rate it because obviously you know I'm biased, but uh, I think that's right along where I would rate it as well. I don't think you can get much better uh, for the first time even cutting a car like this, not really knowing the car. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to TJ's round. It's pretty good as I expected. Um, shouldn't be an issue for me to match that or better it. So yeah. he, got, he, he, he got a little hot right here, a little hot, a little hot right little here. Hot but uh, let's see if I can do. See if I can do. I got. I, I got a great competition. You got so, a great competition. So but here, competition brings out the best in me. Yeah, a little bit. You have the same thing right there. It's not warped though. Let's look at TJ's cut. Okay. I mean, uh, if you ran your fingers through here, you'd probably need a tetanus shot. Well, right? same on the other <laughs> side. Teach, you did good, kid. You did good. I'm gonna okay. say not bad. It's not bad. I mean, his is definitely smoother. Than mine. It's a little smoother. For, no, it's for sure smoother. Yeah, it's... Looking at TJ's cut, I need you to rate it. I need you to rate it from Big one rating. to ten. Um, un ocho. That's, that's pretty good. Luego aquí lo cortó con los dientes. He said that if you cut it with your teeth, there, what happened? <laughs> Yes. Kevin, are you ready? Let's go. Our initial, initial thought. Wow, um, this is wow. Very, 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 it's one thing, I don't know, seeing it on a render for a year, going back and forth and this and that and this and that, then seeing it on the car and then it being our full fender placement and it fitting as well as it does right now, this is the nicest fitting out of the box replacement I've ever seen. And that's no bullshit. Uh, it's 
Listen, hold it in now. What See, I learned, I learned, right? Is this better? Is this better? A little bit more? Is that good? So what I'll do Large. is I'll hold the camera from the lens. From the lens, okay. Because if I hold it from here, right, it's like, yeah, okay. it gives you an extra like inch if you go from the lens. Oh, that extra inch, yeah. You know, you know yeah. all about the extra inch. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so the fenders went right on. Literally took us about five minutes to put them both on, so that's a pretty good sign. So up next, we gotta go ahead and trim this guy out of here. This, this guy out of here. Up next, we gotta trim uh, the bumper reinforcements uh, to get this bumper to go on, and we're gonna do that right now and then put the bumper on. Oscar's teaching me Spanish today. No mama ka! No mama ka! Word of the day is no mama. She, no mama ka. <laughs> That's mama? how I say it? Two mamas? No mama, no, mama, no, no mames. No mames. Ka. No mames, wait. No what does it mean? Ka. No mames ka? Yeah. No, you don't say no mames ka. You say no mames way. No mama's way? No mama's way. <laughs> no, you're gonna make me say some no, weird no, shit. No, no mama's no. way. Cow, you're looking too fly right now. No, bro. I ain't. Ain't, ain't nothing but another two mistakes. dad moment right now so today was like a really big test to see how everything was kind of gonna play out a little bit of nerves going into it because I was like damn if these don't fit as good as we thought then I've been lying to Oscar for the past month about how much work he has to do um, and I could say I'm 100% satisfied I'm over satisfied I think this fits great the quality is great we've really did uh, new efforts in making a lighter, more durable version of our fiberglass pieces. And I think we nailed it with that, which like, I'm loving to see that. And seeing how well everything fits together with zero body work is very impressive. I know that with Skill of SOS, they're gonna make this thing look like an OEM car, which is super awesome. So I think we're gonna use this momentum rolling into later this week where we're gonna get the side skirts next, the rear fenders, the rear bumper caps, and then we still have all the canards and arrow too. So we're still missing three-fourths of the car, but this was like the biggest pieces because there are four replacements and this is the only four replacement of the car. So I'm stoked and I'll be here tomorrow to pick up where we left off today. We're back. Dylan. Day three, or day three. We're moving on to the side skirts and the quarter panel extension. So this is the little, I think this is probably the trickiest part of the kit. Is yeah. the side skirt mounted in it? I'd say it's the most intricate part. It's the only part that you really, I mean, other than the rear quarter panel, it's the only part that you actually have to cut away to make the kit fit, so to speak. But um, it's pretty simple. We're gonna walk you through it today. Oscar's gonna, um, you know, do it his best shot. There you go. <laughs> the cut champion. <laughs> this is the worst side, and it doesn't even have the cor it doesn't have the gas cap on it. This is the best side. Oh, this yeah, is the worst side. Clean. <laughs> So we went ahead and trimmed the side skirt. Uh, we pretty much just followed the body line. We didn't really mess with this too much and follow the body line all the way through until you get to this funky cut. Uh, this is our first time installing this. So obviously we're gonna make our own template. So if we ever do another one, we're ready to go. But this is our first initial cut. This still retains all the factory mounting points, especially down here. Now we're gonna go ahead and test fit the overskirt and see how it fits. Uh, 
All right, guys, so up next, we have this quarter panel uh, flare. This is reverse mounted from the inside. So that means we have to remove the inner door panel and the trunk uh, access panel. So uh, we gotta do that first. We're gonna put some tape down on the quarter panel and we're gonna get ready to install the next piece in the Street Hunter wide body kit. All right, so we already have our uh, tape down. We went ahead and double sided taped the side skirt. So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kind of put the quarter panel uh, wide body on the quarter panel and mark it with the Sharpie to know exactly where this thing needs to mount. From there, once we have our placement, we're gonna put some uh, paint on the studs and that's gonna give us a drill point where we can actually mount the wide body. We've already removed the inside of the inner door panel for the rear and we've already um, removed the access for the trunk panel. So all we're gonna do now is go ahead and place this, mark it and put some uh, black paint on these studs. side of the street hunter wide body for the brz is almost complete uh we have a couple more things that we have to add we have to add the carbon fiber uh side diffuser on we went ahead and just temporarily mocked up this uh rear bumper extension so it's actually not installed properly but it's good enough for right now and without even actually being installed it actually lines up perfectly it looks really good everything kind of coincides all the line is like one swoop just from like a quick mock-up so it's looking good right now we're gonna finish mocking up the carbon fiber diffuser and this piece this is like i don't know what to call this piece yet but this is but this looks this is gonna like top off the side of the car and kind of give it almost like a whole vent system right here it's gonna look really good so right now again we're gonna install the diffuser put this thing on and step back and see how this thing's looking All right, man, so pretty much 90% of the kit is on the car. Teach, I gotta say, the Street Hunter team, you guys outdid yourselves, yeah, man. It, it, this, Dylan, Dylan was, is the one to credit for all of this. This is, well, we took a lot of time. If you know you guys have been waiting for this one for quite a while. We didn't want to disappoint, and we had to follow something up with TJ's first gen BRZ, so, you know, we, we had to do something better. And I feel like we had a lot of, uh, I don't wanna say pressure, but, being that Pandorm released their BRZ last SEMA, they beat everyone to the punch. We knew that when we released this kit, it had to be like, no no stone left unturned. That's the saying, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we really wanted to take every angle and attack this car and just go above and beyond where I think people are expecting and push our limits from what we've done. We've never done any replacements or anything. And, um, you know, different process and actually doing the fiberglass and actually taking the measurements and I think we nailed it. I think as you guys watch these videos that Oscar is making, seeing how much fire work they do and seeing his commentary and fit and finish. I mean, this is not to dog our own stuff, but this is way better than previous stuff we have done. So we're every, I think every kit we're learning and improving in different areas and it shows. And I think that's awesome seeing our progression, every you know new project we're learning from what we've previously done and adding to the next one. I'm stoked. Yeah, I, to be honest, I am thoroughly impressed with the way that the kit's fitting. Seeing it like this is uh, makes it like a whole lot easier wanting to take on a, a, a project like this because you see all the mounting points, you see how everything fits, and uh, you know that you're not going to be in for a whole lot of work. So this is looking great, guys. We're going to wrap it up right now. Give me a rat. <laughs> 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 All right, 
right, guys, and that is gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out the video. It was a lot of fun making it, so I hope you guys will subscribe and check out the next video because this thing is about to get fully bodywork and painted and get a big reveal here at the SEMA show. So again, give us a follow on IG. I'm gonna go ahead and drop our link right here so you guys can get the up-to-date uh, daily updates on all the builds that we're doing right now. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and being part of the SOS Custom fam. We will see you guys on the next one here at SOS Customs. We got you covered. Peace.